Hey YouTube, this is J. Joe NASCAR here. Uh, this is going to be not a diecast review, but, well, kind of a little bit of a diecast review. Um, two days ago, my mom was at Walmart, and she found this die, and she got me this uh, car here. And uh, I know Jane's Bros, or John's Bros, I'm not so sure, Christian John Jane's, I think it is. Uh, he... Got the Dale Jr. National Guard, the Denny Hamlin, FedEx, Kinko's, or Office, and uh, the Jimmy Johnson Cobalt Tools, or something like that. I know he got three Spin Master diecasts, but here, this is Tony Stewart's 2011 Mobile One, four, Mobile One Chevy Spin Master diecast. This is going to be a little bit of a review on the Spin Master diecast. Now, a couple of months ago, like early in early 2011, I bought, I ordered a painted custom off of eBay. Let me go find it. Okay. This is a this is a this is a uh, this is a fake custom die cast. It's a painted custom. It's not a paper custom because of course everyone knows they're dead. This is the this is a painted custom. It's uh, of course on a 2010 spoil or 2009 uh, spoiler. So that is uh that really um is painted. I got I got uh, three others. Kyle Busch's M&M's pretzel. Terry Labonte's uh, number 10 gander, and hold on, let me go get the last one. John Andretti, no, yeah, John Andretti's Taco Bell, they're 2010, I believe. Anyway, along with that, this is uh, the real thing, and this is uh, the new cars that you're going to be, that are going to be, that are coming into Walmarts. So let me go open this up. Or actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to open this up because this is a 2011 Spin Master diecast. It's, it's probably going to become a little bit rare in the future. I'll try and review it the best I can, though. Okay, and I'm also going to get a Winter Circle diecast to compare. Okay, this is a Winter Circle diecast I bought in, Ju in June of 2010. Kyle Busch's uh, 2010 Snickers Toyota. And let's compare uh, 2011, and let's try and compare. Okay, um, now I do now I do have to say, um, a couple of people say that the wheels are bigger on the Spin Master, which is, uh, which I think is, which uh, I'm not so sure if, if you can, comp if you can see the difference. But here's, um, like here, let's come, like, here's a, here's a, comp no, here's a um, comparison. Jeff Gordon's 2009 Pepsi Retro, or no, Pepsi Challenger, sorry. This is the 2009 Winter Circle Packaging. This is the 2011 Spin Master diecast. I do have to say, though, I, I think the Spin Master packaging is better. But, uh, yeah. And, another di and of course, another difference is that Jeff, the Jeff Gordon car, like the, like the Winter Circle diecast, they put, it, they put the car... Driver's side on the driver's side uh, in the front, but on here they do it uh, the right side in front. Um, and here's the review of the box. Of course, I'm in the back here. It's Tony Stewart 14. This is the car. The car. The packaging is actually a little bit thinner, and I do have to say it's going to be a little bit easier to open. So, mm, sorry. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, and uh, the paint, the paints, the paint actually doesn't look that chipped up. I'm not gonna really open. I don't know if I should open this because this is 2011 Spin Master diecast and a uh, hologram. The packaging is a, is a little bit softer. Is the texture is a little bit softer than uh, the Jeff Gordon one. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, 
and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.